Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Randy Scott from Rare Element Resources. How are you today, Randy? Doing great, Tracy. Now you've had a couple of major milestones here in the last month, so I'm kind of at a toss-up about what to bring up with you first. But I think what I'd like to uh, start with is you recently filed an application for a provisional U.S. patent on the technology for the selective precipitation and the process te technology to extract cerium and thorium. Did I get that correct? That's correct. That's correct. That's uh, actually uh, one of two patents that we filed over the last uh, month or so now. All right. So give us an overview. Why would a company need to file a patent on the processing technology? Well, as you can Im as you can imagine, uh, you know the processing, particularly the separation side of things, is very competitive, and and we've been spending a lot of time and a lot of money trying to look at adding value to our concentrates, which we think we've uh, done nicely with the pure concentrate we're producing, but because of that, we wanted to look at going up the value chain and and further separating the products. So we've had uh, test work underway now for a couple three months to try to evaluate. Uh, how our concentrates would perform if we develop technology to further separate them. Okay, of course this goes hand in hand with your assay results that you also just put out and so maybe you can explain what these results were. Sure, from a separation side, uh, Tracy, uh, we've been able to develop technology that, uh, that is able to uh, remove uh, cerium and thorium in one selective precipitation step uh, and then we followed that with the ability to uh, uh, do solvent extraction, but only one or two stages of solvent extraction uh, to look at uh, further purifying the material and actually separating uh, the rare earths into a light rare earth, cerium, almost cerium free light rare earth fraction and a heavy rare earth fraction. Uh, and then we're going to look at moving further up that value chain here shortly to further separate those products as well. And of course, you're building, you have plans for a large-scale demonstration plant. Is this correct? Yeah, Tracy, we, we've uh, uh, moved forward with that as well. Uh, you know, as a result of uh, the uh, feas pre preliminary feasibility study and the multiple pilot plants that we've done on the project, we felt it was a, a good time to look at moving uh, up into even a larger scale uh, production, almost commercial production facility. So what we've done is uh, we've gone out this uh, summer and taken a 1,000 ton sample uh, from a, a near surface uh, exposure of our of our high grade material. This is where uh, the uh, the preliminary feasibility study has the initial mining starting, uh, and we wanted to be able to confirm these high grade zones, uh, and we were able to do that by trenching approximately 225 feet and then sampling that uh, as well. Uh, and we were very pleased by the average grade of 10.1% for that thousand tons that came back for us. Okay, so it's my understanding then that you will be using this in your demonstration plant with of course your new uh, patented technology processes, is that correct? Yeah, that's true, Tracy. We intend to try to marry this up uh, sometime here in the middle part of 2015. Uh, obviously, we've got additional work going on with regards to separation, uh, and we have uh, studies underway right now uh, on the preliminary design of the demonstration plant itself, uh, heat and mass balances, that sort of thing, using the technology and the preliminary feasibility study. Our plans are to uh, marry those two things up. We, we believe that uh, we ought to be able to uh, come up with separation technology and to produce uh, as part of the demonstration plant. Uh, we're estimating someplace in the range of 70 tons of separated material, not kilograms, but tons of separated material uh, once the plant is up and operating. Of course, uh, we've got a number of major hurdles to cross with that demonstration plant yet uh, to make sure that it happens in a, in a time frame we're looking at. Randy, right now, I'm sure I don't have to explain to you that it's become uh, rather challenging out there in this particular commodity in our sector. What do you think gives you a competitive advantage that allows you to be one of the so-called band of brothers, as one of our writers calls you? 
Well, I think, Tracy, there are a number of different things that truly differentiate us from, from uh, our peers and, and perhaps even from some of our producing peers, as a matter of fact. Uh, the first is, uh, I already mentioned, the capital cost of the project. We've deployed a strategy that we think is very different. We've said that we're going to uh, produce meaningful quantities of rare earths at the lowest possible capital cost. Uh, and because we're located in Wyoming, surrounded by infrastructure, and because we've identified this high-grade zone in the property, we've been able to pursue that strategy, and it shows up in the good economics of the project as well. Uh, I think that I, I think I have to say there are a couple of other things that really differentiate us, and, and one is. Uh, not to uh, uh, play it up too much, but we've got an amazing management team here. And they keep moving us forward uh, uh, at a very rapid pace and achieving uh, milestones on a regular basis and being innovative. You know, we didn't start out to be a technology company, but we've now filed for our third patent on, on our technology already. And, and the last thing I might say is, is to give a little uh, shout out to our board of directors, if you will. Our board is really quite an amazing board for any uh, uh, junior company in our space, and maybe even for any mining company. Uh, we're very pleased that we've got four ex-CEOs of world-class companies on our board right now. Well, I could not agree with you more, Randy. I frequently talk about looking at leadership when making investments in the public markets. So I think just on a final note, we've had so much news just in the last month that we're barely absorbing. Specifically, I love the trench results, I have to say. Um, and I love that you're doing technology patents. But can you tell us what we should expect in the next six months? Well, we're, we're, we're hunkering down to get some work done again, Tracy. Uh, you know, it, it's kind of what we do. Uh, so we're moving forward uh, post haste on the uh, further development of the separation technology. I didn't mention a second patent application that we put in, which was that we uh, filed for additional improvements to our existing process uh, with low temperature leaching. So we've got additional test work underway there that could really drive our capital and operating costs down as well. Uh, we're going to be doing the preliminary work on, on getting the trench ready to uh, move forward and uh, then we'll see what happens after that. Well, as always, it's a pleasure to speak with you, Randy. Thank you. Thank you very much, Tracy. Appreciate it.